When the Oakland Cougars and Logan Township Lions met for a game of youth football in 2013, the Cougars coach brought out a trick play he had been working on for some time. In fact, he had collaborated on it with the head coach of the other team. This might sound a bit unusual, but the whole plan revolved around a very unusual and very determined player. Ten-year-old Jacob Steiner was a special needs student that had been taken under the wing of the coach and the entire football team. He had been playing in games all season long, but on this play you could see that the opposing players, with as much subtlety as they could muster, all allow themselves to be blocked, run the wrong way, or just fall down without being touched. All to make sure Jacob could know what it feels like to score a touchdown in a game, an experience he will certainly never forget. Colonel Robert Riston was out for a bite at a local Taco Bell in Alabama when he was approached by a couple of boys who were selling homemade baked goods to raise money for their family. When Robert asked the older boy, only nine years old, if he had eaten anything that night, he answered no. But Robert didn't have any cash on him and the youngsters weren't in a position to take credit cards. So Robert brought both boys up to the counter and let them get anything they wanted to eat on him. The video was captured by a customer who decided that the heartwarming moment needed to be shared with friends. After going viral, Robert was interviewed by local news, telling them that the boys were just as much of an inspiration to him as he could ever be to them. He also mentioned that they thanked him not just for the meal, but for watching over and protecting them in his role as a soldier. In 2014, a man boarding a commuter train in Perth, Australia almost lived out every commuter's worst nightmare. As he was getting on board the busy train, he lingered a bit too long, and just as the doors were closing, he slipped, getting his leg caught in the gap between the train and the platform. Quick-thinking transit officials alerted the conductor, making sure the train stayed put, but were unsure how to go about freeing the man. Fortunately for him, the car was loaded with compassionate passengers. Once everybody was evacuated from the car, transit workers organized a group effort by the huge crowd. They piled up against the side of the car and pushed, slowly rocking the car back until the gap widened enough for the man to be freed. The extraordinary effort was caught by surveillance video. A transit spokesman said the occurrence was simply an accident and not the result of overcrowding, and praised the actions of transit staff and all of the passengers who saved the man from potentially serious injury. 